let me turn on my Kate Bush candle so I can look at these lyrics. Hi, -o, it's me, Ayo, the popcorn philosopher. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, fellow aliens and fellow philosophers. It's me. Wow. And welcome to what I hope is the beginning of the Kate Bush deep dive. If you guys are interested in it, I really want to do it. <laughs> but if you guys are not interested in it, I've been wanting to learn a little bit more about Kate Bush for a very long time, even before this whole resurgence of running up that hill from Stranger Things happened, mostly because I don't know a lot about her. The only songs I know are from her greatest hits, and I feel like for an artist like Kate Bush, the greatest hits are not really going to tell the whole story. For the most part, greatest hits I feel like are just a way for record companies to make more money on older songs. But it also is a good way of having all the hits in one place. But they're very rarely an artistic vision. And I really want to know more about her. I actually didn't know really where to start, so I was looking up her demos and I hear, see that there were demos in the beginning. Apparently there were a lot, but the only one I knew for sure was a song called Passing Through Air. And as it turns out, it became a B-side. There was a demo that was put together by David Gilmore, who had seen Kate Bush play and thought that she was very talented. So he agreed to pay for a demo, a better demo than what she had. And the backing band was Unicorn, which I'm not familiar with that band, but they were kind of her backing band. And I found this song called Passing Through Air, which apparently was not only a demo, but was also a B-side later to Army Dreamers, which is very unusual. You never hear about demos getting released, especially that much later. That was like, what, eight years later? But anyway, if you guys know more, this was the only song I knew for sure was on that demo. But if you guys know of other songs that were on the demo, I'd like to hear more of those demos before I start with her very first album, which would be The Kick Inside. But anyway, let's stop talking and let's start listening. Okay, so this is Passing Through Air. Demo, B-side, it's your call. <laughs> Passing through air Oh, right from the beginning. The, stars the title. Walking through I like that. I love transitions like that. I love when it has to go up in order to get back to the verse. It gives it gives a feeling of floating, you know? It gives a feeling of propelling forward or, or propelling up. At first I thought there was a time signature change, but there's not. It stays 4-4 four, four through the whole song. But uh, that part where she's saying, so much, so much. And speaking of that part, I really like how much atmosphere is communicated with so very little. There's just a little bit of reverb on that part and it, it's so effective. It feels like it gives the song a, a haunting quality. And it's contrasted with all the production elements of everything that is going on to, in music today. There's just so many production elements in, in songs these days. It's really cool to see something so simple just a little bit of reverb gives it some atmosphere. Your care so much. 
<laughs> oh wow, that song's so short. <laughs> I could that could have gone on for a lot longer, and I would have been very happy. I was also noticing there's some great fashion choices she had in there. <laughs> I may want to do a Kate Bush fashion video. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I would very much like to do one of those. This song almost didn't sound like Kate Bush in a lot of ways because it has a more traditional feel to it. But even with the traditional feel, I feel like there was a lot of quirks in it. You could tell that she would not be a typical artist. You know, for one thing, how the verse is kind of melancholy and that chorus is so cheerful. Then into that kind of C part, that so much, so much, that part, that is also kind of haunting. Let me turn on my Kate Bush candle so I can look at these lyrics. The first line of the song is passing through air. You mix the stars with your arms. And I'm thinking of this as her looking at her partner as being magical, this magical person. And I'm noticing this lyric, the doom of eternity bombs. I'm thinking that she's talking about this person in terms of eternity. And later she says, you lick my love with the years. She's talking about this person in terms of a great faded love. But if I'm looking at this lyric here, oh, don't you throw my love away. I need your loving. I need your loving. Oh, don't you pour down rain today. She's even worried about what's going to happen today, let alone eternity. Which makes me think of the title, Passing Through Air. It kind of makes you think of the ephemeral. Like, this is more ephemeral than she's thinking. But then again, this could also be down to the fact that she was only 15 when she recorded this. So this could all be love in theory, or like a crush or something. Because none of the lyrics here are very specific in terms of, like, what's transpired between these two people. But the chorus also kind of reminds me of something. You could think I'm crazy, and I don't think this is it. But I, I was thinking that the chorus reminded me of uh, the Laverne and Shirley theme song. Haas and Beth Incorporated. We're gonna do it. But that can't be it. That's not it. It's something else, and I can't. So maybe something from the 70s. I'm not sure. But it reminds me of something. Janice Ian, maybe? I don't know. Something. It can't be Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> I really am fascinated how this became a B-side, though, for Army Dreamers. I do know that song. That's one of the songs on her greatest hits. Well, this ended up being a very short video. That was a very short song. That's probably for the best, though. I mean, I'm not even sure if you guys want to keep Bush deep dive. I just think she's an incredible artist. People over the years have told me that I sound like her, even though she wasn't really an influence. Actually, I'd never heard of her until, like, later. Uh, and someone told me that I sounded like her. That's when I decided to listen to her. And of course I was like incredibly flattered. Not even close, but I'll take it any day of the week. <laughs> that was just unbelievably flattering. I don't even think I have even a quarter of her talent, but I'm really glad that I got to know a little bit about her. And I really want to learn even more. I really feel like by listening to her albums, I think I'm gonna get more of her artistic vision and I'm really looking forward to that. So let me know in the comments if you guys are even interested in a, a Kate Bush deep dive. Anyway, but besides that, if you did like the video, feel free to like it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And that means a great deal to the channel. <laughs> and I really hope to see you, if not for a Kate Bush deep dive, then I also have a Prince deep dive. That's still gonna be going on. All kinds of stuff. Lots of surprises in store. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, and I hope to see you next time. Popcorn Philosopher, over and out.